welcome to the Ginger Geek Show. So first of all, bear with me, just bear with me. I know the headline might seem a bit of an exaggeration what I'm going to end up talking about, but to some, and I think personally, um, feel that this is a, a, a huge character of the James Bond franchise. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the Aston Martin DB5. Uh, to me, I think very much so is the quintessential, uh, very much so, um, one of the main, frankly, characters of the franchise. It's been the last seven movies. I'm going to be soon to be in No Time to Die. But why am I actually talking about Aston Martin DB5? Well, let me tell you why. I went today to the Riverside Museum in Glasgow. If you've never been, I should suggest honestly go. It's really great. It's got a great collection of vehicles, of cars, there's buses, there's trams, trains, there's even a boat outside. It's, it's generally a really nice museum. If you're near Glasgow or roughly near it, I've never been honestly go to a really nice uh, place, but it was announced that for three weeks and it's going to be ending on the 24th of November, so you've still got time if you're watching this today. Um, Unless we're in the future right now, oh god. There, they're having an Aston Martin DB5 there. I looked at the thing and I'm trying to look at information, I'm not really 100%, I don't think it is one of the the original Aston Martins that there was, I don't think it is whatsoever, because um, there was there was many hints, there was no ejector seat kind of display, which I know that was obviously used in the original um, like ones, because I think there's the seven or eight original um, uh, Aston Martins of, of from Goldfinger, so I'm not 100% um, sure about that one there. But uh, yes, this video is just simply my experience of seeing it, because I've never seen an Aston Martin DB5. An Aston Martin DB5 to me is is my Batmobile, it's, it's my... Uh, DeLorean from Back to Future, it's my Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, it's 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 my car that I feel, and I think many Bond fans will feel exactly the same way. But I just want to kind of really talk about the experience well. So I went to Riverside Museum, and as I said, you should go to, it's free to go in, and it's really, it's a really great museum, um, and it's just so, it was just so great, it's, uh, like, the corner of my eye saw it, I saw that, that beautiful gunshot grey, I don't know what they call it, damn colours these days, um, but I saw it in the corner of my eye, and I was like, I, I need to go see I need to go straight to it. So I went straight to it. Um, it's it's it really is just it sticks out like a sore thumb for many good reasons. Um, it's very flat. I remember uh, hearing from many folk that um, it's a very small car. It didn't really seem small to me. It felt very long, very flat. But it's the inside, which I think obviously more folk are obviously talking about. It did look very dinky inside. Um, and I, I think I would struggle fitting, I'm over, I'm six foot two I want to say, so I definitely think I would maybe struggle fitting in that car, but um, but I'm pretty sure Sean was pretty, Sean Connery was pretty tall I'm sure. But anyway, uh, the actual uh, the car is just an absolute beauty, it really is, seeing it in, in real life, and I've got a couple of photos, so uh, I'm just kind of showing up right now, and I apologise that you're having to see my mug, I'm saying that right now, and a couple of wee videos I did a week in a bits and bobs, and it, it, overall, it was, it was just really nice to do, I'm glad I managed to go to, and I said, Go to see, go go ahead, go see it. It's free to go in this place, you know. You're literally seeing an Aston Martin DB5 for free. Um, so I, I, I can't argue against that. I think that's, that's great that we have such... I think it's just great that we have things like that that's happening. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of do a wee video here um, just to talk about... Uh, doing such thing and kind of showing um, my, ex uh, my experience uh, of seeing uh, the Asmart DB5 and uh, and talking about the future, mm, with No Time To Die coming out, oh god, now what we, it must be, oh, we're way less than four months now aren't we, it's pretty damn soon now, um, very exciting times, very exciting times and obviously I'm wanting to do more kind of stuff, I, I kind of didn't do stuff for a while but I really want to try and get back into it and because the James Bond community is just so strong right now, it's really good, I really, I'm really loving it, I was a Doctor Who fan and oh god the community in that, the Doctor Who fan is just doing my nothing, <laughs> I cannot convey, uh, but the James Bond community I just, I, I generally really love and I think it's been great right now, especially since like Spectre to like now I think because there's been no Bond movies, I think everyone's just really kind of almost clumped together and just been... Like, I'm like following folk that I never thought I, I would like on kind of Instagram and all that and, and generally really nice people that I've been talking to on the kind of James Bond community and I think they're um, generally really great, great people and uh, so, but if... I'm gonna do a plug. A plug is happening. Um, if you'd like to follow, I've now got a James Bond page on Instagram. It's called From Scotland With Love 007. You can go ahead and have a wee follow. I kind of do some bits and bobs and not that. And 
I kind of talk about obviously stuff that and and also just my normal kind of the ginger geek on Instagram and this Facebook page and Twitter as well um, if you want to do that because apparently I should be doing this in every video I should be trying to plug my stuff which I always forget because I always do not like forcing people to do you do you guys if you want to share this go ahead if you don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame you you know it's like I, 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 uh, but yes, so yes, I just wanted to come out and do a wee video just kind of showing some photos and a bit of videos that I kind of did and all that of uh, just seeing Aston Martin DB5. It was so great to do such thing and I'm hoping in the future, as I said, um, there's a wee museum outside Edinburgh that I really want to go to to kind of show it because sadly being where I am, you know, I'd love to go down to London and there's some really great stuff of James Bond connections down in London and uh, the Bond in Motion Museum, which I still haven't been to yet. Oh. But that, that's kind of the overall kind of thing I wanted to talk about today. So I'd like to know what you guys think. I don't, I don't know. Have you guys been <laughs> to that? I don't know. And I'd like to see obviously your experience. I'm like, have you ever seen an Aston Martin DB5? Like, I think that's quite something to me. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I... Maybe I just have become that really sad James Bond fan, who knows. But yes, more videos in the future, so check out my, as I said, you can check out my Instagram page, I will be kind of doing that, um, more kind of James Bond stuff, I just focus on that if you're into that stuff, uh, from Scotland with Love, 007 it's called, go ahead, give that a wee kind of look there. Uh, so yeah, as I said, more videos in the future, so until then, see ya